But if you're not doing your wash and goes, like I'm about to show you how to do it, you've been doing it wrong the whole time. Like your whole life has been a lie. Now we just, oh. now we just I hope you're doing great I was doing my wash and go and I was like you know what it's been a minute since I've done a natural hair tutorial so let me just interrupt my wash and go and let y'all know what I've been doing I've been doing this trial and error thing and I have not seen it on YouTube I have not searched it on YouTube to make sure that I'm not like the millionth person to find this out so let let me let you know before you even go off that to me this is original but if you're not doing your wash and goes, like I'm about to show you how to do it, you've been doing it wrong the whole time. Like your whole life has been a lie. No, joking. Um, but I'm about to show y'all something, okay? This is the secret. Gloves, vinyl gloves. You're not gonna waste as much product because the product does not absorb into your hands. Um, your nails, if you get your nails done, or even if you don't, your nails are not going to grab onto your hair and break it. It's not going to get caught between the acrylic or whatever you put on your nails. It's not going to pull. You're going to have less knots. You're going to have less frizzing. You're going to have a longer lasting wash and go. So let's get started. All I'm doing is wetting my hair with my water bottle, my spray bottle that I got from Sally Beauty. A lot of people ask where I get this from. It's extra large Mr. Bottle. And I take this water a section and detangle it with a comb first. And then I go through with my Denman brush from Insta Roots. Make sure you detangle your roots too, because that's really important. Make sure it's really nice and smooth. Then I am using the Main Choice, it's so messy right now, the Main Choice Cheers Gelato. Take a little bit in my hand with my gloves on. And I'm gonna start applying it from the ends to the roots, okay? And you can feel the slip. Your hair just glides straight through. There's no tugging, there's no friction, because remember, your hands have texture in it so that causes frizz in itself okay no matter how much product you put on top your hair your your fingers have fingerprints which is texture so I'm just smoothing it out and then I'm gonna reapply a little bit more gel onto my roots okay and then I'm just gonna shingle and the way I do it I take it from the roots and then I smooth each curl down that way each curl has its own little place to move okay and then I smooth each curl all the way to the very ends and let me tell you if you would do this with your fingers as I'm sure you have been doing that you're gonna tell the difference in the curl definition and the feel of it it just glides straight through okay all the way from roots to ends one thing as a hairstylist we shampoo a lot of the times with gloves for less friction to protect our nails and our hands and yes it does all that but then i was thinking to myself the other day whenever i um i colored my hair with a semi-permanent color which bleeds a lot so i was like well let me just do my wash and go with some gloves because it's going to bleed onto my fingernails which I had just got done so I was like let me just try this perfect wash and go y'all perfect I was like why have I not been doing this the whole time so ever since then I have been using gloves to do my wash and go and it is a game changer now don't get me wrong just doing the shingling method with you know without gloves of course is a game changer in itself but like to top it off with the gloves too big time difference and while I'm here I'm just gonna give y'all a few more pointers make sure your hair is pretty wet that way the product goes on evenly and I always like to start off with a comb first because that produces less friction 
instead of just going with the brush which is going to give you a lot more tension and friction so i like to detangle each section with the comb first then go through with my denman from ends to roots to make sure that you're not tugging on your hair too much because when your hair is wet it is the weakest so got that smooth and then i'm apply a good amount of gel from the ends because that's what frizzes out the most and then I just go to the roots and it is smooth sailing from there so I'm gonna just keep doing this throughout my head I wanted to come through and tell y'all about this um, I was excited whenever I discovered it and figured out that this is definitely a better method than using your fingers um, and I wanted to share it with y'all because I know it's been a minute since I've done a natural hair tutorial. So let me finish this up and I'm going to come back whenever I am done. All right, y'all. So this is my hair. It's done. I'm about to sit under the dryer. Hopefully it only takes 30 minutes to dry because, Lord, I'm so tired of my hair taking forever to dry. Um, but anyways, this is it. This is my hair shingled. I'll be back with a full face of makeup to show y'all the end result all right so my hair is like 80 percent dry and this is how it's looking so far i cannot break the gel cast right now because it's not 100 percent dry but i want to show y'all the amount of definition that i'm able to achieve using the gloves no frizz whatsoever and i've also diffused it sat under a drawer my hair just takes forever to dry so if my hair is not frizzy by the end of the night simply because I'm about to put a hat on top of here because I have a date tonight um I'm gonna come back and show you how it looks okay so that y'all can see how it looks with the gel cast broken okay y'all so this is my hair 100% dry for some odd reason my hair just feels wet but it's not um, however that cheers gelato main choice gel takes a very long time to dry um, so this is my hair I had already put it um, I went out on my date it's really late by the way went out on my date put a hat on my head and it's still intact so that tells you a lot about the technique okay um, about the product of course too so lately I've been breaking the gel cast with gloves too and like I said these are vinyl I'm spraying glossy by uncle funky's daughter one of my favorite um, finishing products to break the gel cast with spraying that in my hand rubbing it between the gloves and this is gonna be a friction free process okay like when I tell y'all y'all can go ham if y'all want to y'all can go ham all right okay so it's already giving me lots of volume I'm breaking up that curl making it not as crunchy and you can just break the gel cast without creating lots of frizz okay like if I get frizz I'm not freaking out by any means I'm not against it I know some hair types are just more prone to frizz natural hair in general is just prone to frizz I'm not against frizz at all I'm just giving y'all a technique that creates less frizz um, because after all I do live in Louisiana where frizz is inevitable pretty much okay for the rest of my hair I'm just gonna do this okay now I'm gonna take my pick and pick at the roots. Now this in itself might create a little bit of frizz, but not much, okay? Not much. Anything for a little bit of volume for me. Um, I'm really crazy about volume. I need to have my volume. I don't like my, head, my hair sticking to my head. And that is it that is my wash and go using gloves let me give y'all a last look well that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this video 
and was able to take something out of it. If you try your next wash and go with gloves, be sure to let me know and let me know how it works out for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video.